Hey Bill, can you prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the Earth is a sphere and not flat? Because I have a lot of Facebook friends who say that it's flat, and I just can't convince them. Thank you. Is the Earth flat or round? It's round. Okay, now let's see. How do we go about proving that? Go to the uh, seashore. Go to a seashore and figure out why you can't, if you live on the East Coast, figure out why you can't see Spain from the East Coast of North America. It looks like you might have a, a St. Louis hat on. I'm not sure. Um, just go uh, to the middle of the Mississippi River and look south. Why can't you see the Louisiana? Why can't you see New Orleans? What's, what's the problem there? Well, then climb a tower or go to the top of a hill or a mountain, and you'll see a little farther but you will not see to the other side of the earth places we know to exist. For example, I've been to London. I, I can tell you, other people have. I've been to Vancouver, British Columbia, and you cannot see Vancouver, British Columbia from, from Boise, Idaho, let alone from New York City or Toronto or what have you. Look at pictures from space where you see the earth as a sphere those pictures are not faked, and I'll tell you just, if nothing else, here's why you can tell they're not faked. Just to create the paperwork that NASA has created, for in NASA in this one case, just the paperwork to send anything out in space, to send people into orbit or to send them to the moon, that amount of paperwork would make faking it prohibitively expensive. No one could afford to generate that much, that much documentation. Then the other thing, if you want to get into this, if you're really serious, if your friends are really serious, have them get on a boat or a ship and go out at sea, and you'll notice you can't see infinitely far. Furthermore, if you get into it enough, pick up a, a book about navigation or go online and learn about navigation. A very, very important thing you have to take into account when you try to navigate the ocean from a ship or a boat is how high you are off the sea surface. The higher you are off the sea surface, the farther you can see, the farther away the horizon is. There are scientifically proven laws of light, diffraction, resolution, and perspective that render this statement foolish. Due to the resolving power of our eyes and even the most powerful telescopes, we could never possibly see across an ocean that is thousands of miles in distance. It is impossible due to the laws of physics, due to the physics of the angles, not to mention the additional limitations of diffraction. Again, it is a silly statement that we should be able to see across the ocean if the Earth were flat. I was very impressed with how much pseudoscience there is. Uh, this is a great concern. All I can say is, well not all I can say, but something I will say about pseudoscience. Well, in the United States, it's very common to use the phrase critical thinking, being critical of what of um, claims, uh, is that it's a process. When you first, for example, science, this process that humans have come up with where you make an observation, you come up with a hypothesis, a reason you think this observation happened, this phenomenon occurred, and then you come up with a way to test it, an experiment. You test it, you see what happened, you compare that to what you thought would happen, and you guys, come on. Everybody watches newscasts, you all use mobile phones, you all see airplanes fly around, you all go to uh, see Ed Sheeran in concert one day in London, another day in Melbourne, Australia. This all depends on our fundamental idea, understanding of the size of the Earth and its shape with extraordinary precision. And if you want to get into it, the Earth isn't quite a sphere. It's a little bleh. Its spin is a little bleh. Stretched it, made it slightly oblate, as the saying goes. This is all susceptible to analysis. But spend some time at learning about navigation. Tell your friends to spend some time learning about navigation. Ah. Navigation's changed the world, by the way. What are you wearing? You're wearing stuff that came from another part of the world on a ship. It didn't get here by magic. It got here through... Science!